So I'm Katie and about a year ago, actually a year ago to this day, I started receiving my infusions in Italy of Neurogenate and I just wanted to give a little update of how things have gone for the past year for me. Um, I had CRPS in this shoulder here that extended kind of up to my neck and down in the, my upper arm and before uh, Neurogenate I couldn't have any clothing anything touching this arm at all. Barely, I could touch it myself or have anyone hug me or bump into me or anything without causing um, a massive flare that could last up to two to three days depending on what I had done. And uh, before Italy, I had trouble using my right arm in a lot of things. It was difficult to write, to fill out forms, um, to cut using scissors, to use a knife to chop up food, potatoes, carrots, anything like that took a lot of extra energy for me to do and I would shy away from those things in order to not have a flare but um, over the past few uh, months things have gotten extremely better. Um, before Neurogenate um, I had tried everything the US had to offer with uh, really no help at all. The one thing that minorly helped was lidocaine, which just numbed the area up, but didn't do anything to solve the major issues. And um, after the first neurogenate treatment, I remember being extremely emotional because I could already feel less pain in my arm and hadn't felt like that in three and a half years, which was overwhelming to not feel the pain that had been dragging me down for so long. So um, now I'm celebrating this month having a job for six months now. Whereas I was applying for disability before I left for Italy because the US told me there was nothing they could do to fix it. I'd be living with a lifelong, you know, disability and, you know, limited motion and use of my right arm, which was difficult to hear. Um, it was a big leap to go to Italy, but I can truly say it's given me my life back. I have full range in my arms now, which a year ago I could not do this. It would hurt really bad, especially doing it for as long as I'm doing right now. You know, I can move in any direction that I want. I can wear a coat now, so when it's cold out, I'm not pulling my coat off of my shoulder to get away from the pain. I can actually wear a coat or a sweatshirt or shirts that I need to wear to have my job. I also wear an apron at work that goes around my neck that would normally have given me immense pain here, and now I I'm an oyster shucker. I use my right arm and shuck oysters all day long. I carry heavy glasses full of beers, heavy plates full of, you know, platters of food, and I haven't dropped anything yet. <laughs> but, you know, it's given me my place back in life, showing that I'm useful to the community again and can be a part of things like that. And, you know, I want to give hope to other people that it does seem extreme, but I think I'm a great example of how quickly you can, you know, get your life back on track and not have to live with this overwhelming burning pain that sticks with you 24-7 and makes you think twice about everything you're going to do before you do it, thinking about what kind of pain you have. Uh, one of the best things is that uh, my future stepson, before Italy, it was difficult for me to pick him up. And when we got back and was I was getting better, that was his favorite thing, was that I could finally pick him up and hold him. And, you know, it's it's been a while now, he's even bigger now, but I can still pick up this, you know, 45 pound little boy and just seeing in his eyes that, you know, I got my shoulder fixed and even he notices that, you know, I, I have clothing on my shoulder, it's not the off the side shirts. So I just wanna, you know, tell everyone thank you, all the people who helped make this possible, all the people who helped donate, um, to everyone at CRPS Treatment in, uh, in Italy, especially Federica for, you know, holding my hand through all of this and, you know, being there for us every step of the way. I can never thank you all enough for making this possible for me. So I just, I want to give hope to everyone else and say, here I am a year later and I'm wearing a shirt. I have a job. I can cook dinner. I can clean the windows. I can do a lot of things I couldn't do a year ago so I just want to show off for my final ending because I used to do a lot of yoga and had to cut back on that due to CRPS and now I'm getting back into that and a year ago I would not have been able to do this so let me uh, see if I can do this. <laughs> Wow. Uh.
I got pretty close, but a few, you know, a year ago, there's no way I would have been able to even attempt to try to stand on my hands. You know, I wouldn't, my arm would have collapsed and it wouldn't have happened, but now I can get back into yoga and doing the things that I love to do and being there for my family, walking my dogs and, you know, enjoying a, you know, being at work again for the first time in four years <laughs> due to CRPS. So thank you to everyone who uh, was a part of this and thank you for watching and for anyone else in, you know, with questions about the infusions or the treatment or any of that, I'm happy to, you know, help anybody, give anybody the, you know, insight they need to make this a dream uh, come true for them as well. So thank you so much and a uh, happy one year anniversary to me and Rajanate. Thank you.